Good morning. Today we are continuing our work on the end of year assessment. Again, this is just as used for review, not something that I am taking a grade on, but I would like for you to check in to see how confident you feel in solving these problems. So number five reads, Jacob solved six times seven like this, in parentheses three times seven plus, in parentheses three times seven equals 21, plus 21 equals 42. He solved 16 times five like this, eight times five plus eight times five equals 40 plus 40 equals 80. What is the same about Jacob's strategy for both problems? That's 5A. And so here I've written my explanation for 5A. I wrote, Jacob's strategies are similar because he took one number in each problem and broke it down into a smaller part or group. For example, he took six and split it into two groups of three. It was easy for him to take three times seven twice and solve six times seven. And so, yes, I use multiple sentences to describe my answer for 5A, but I think the valuable components of my answer are the fact that I use similar verbiage compared to what is in the question. So it says, what is the same about Jacob's strategy? So here you see Jacob's strategies are similar because, and again, because often leads you into the explanation for your written responses in math. And so the other valuable component of my explanation is I took some of the numbers from the original problem and I described what Jacob did. And so here you can see that I said he took six and split it into two groups of three. So the six that is up here in six times seven, that six was split into three and three. And in math, often smaller numbers are easier for us to handle. And so for Jacob, he thought it would be easier to do three times seven twice than solve six times seven. And so here's my explanation. If you have something similar to this, then I would say your answer is probably correct or lengthy enough to fully answer this question. 5B reads, show how you can use Jacob's strategy to solve eight times nine. So for my explanation for 5B, I split eight. You can also split nine, but it's trickier because nine is an odd number, so it will not be the exact same number. So keep in mind that eight is an even number, and so that's why I split eight. So my answer reads, I would take eight and split it into two groups of four. From there, I would take four times nine plus four times nine equals question mark. Four times nine equals 36, so 36 plus 36 equals 72. And at this point in the year, most of you would be able to probably come up with the product of eight times nine, and that is 72 on your own. But it's not just testing your knowledge of how to solve this. It is also seeing if you can understand this strategy and describe it in your own words. And so, yes, you may already know the answer to this, but how did Jacob solve this? And so as you work on 5A and B, really focus in on what is Jacob doing to make this problem easier for him and why. Okay, moving to our next screen. So we have 5C and it says write another multiplication problem that you can solve using Jacob's strategy. So again, I would select a multiplication problem. Maybe you take 14 times nine equals question mark. And from there, you decide to split 14 into two equal groups. So maybe 14, is split to seven times nine. We could put parentheses around that. Plus seven times nine. And from there, it says explain. So for your work here, don't forget to use that keyword because in your explanation. Explanation, excuse me. So I think. Here, you do not have to use the example I gave you. You are more than welcome to come up with your own. But when it says explain how Jacob's strategy works for your problem, use a similar response to what you did for 5A and 5B. Thanks, boys and girls, for listening.